today is a super fun video that I'm very excited to film because I love me some bright lips. And if you follow me on Instagram, and if you just follow my channel, then you know that I'm a sucker for a bright lip. So, I decided to do my top 10 bright lips for the spring and summer. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I did do 5 drugstore and 5 high-end to make it a little bit um, even, but also, really, the drugstore has had some great bright lips lately that I have really been loving. Okay, so first off, let's start with my lip color that I have on right now. Super obsessed with this MAC lipstick. If you guys went to IMATS New York and saw me, I was wearing this lip color. I love it so much, and it is Candy Yum Yum. From MAC, it is a matte formulation. Looks like this. I am going to do swatches on my hand as well as have a lip swatch for you of every single lipstick I'm showing. And my lips are raw right now because I just did all the lip swatches. <laughs> so I hope you guys like them. So this is the gorgeous bright bubblegum pink coloring. Um, I do like to pair it with the um, Nicki Minaj lip glass number two, the Viva Glam 2. Um, really, really love that combo. So that's my first phase. Um, continuing with MAC, I really like this Archie's Girl Collection lipstick. It was limited edition, so don't smack me in the face. I'm really sorry. You may still be able to get this. And it's in Daddy's Little Girl, and it is a satin formulation. I just love this kind of really gorgeous plummy pink tone. Um, I do sort of have a dupe for this coming up so in drugstores, so don't worry about that. It's not an exact dupe though. Anyways, it's this really gorgeous plum, plummy pink. Then I have one more <laughs> limited edition one, sorry. Um, and this is the Tarte. It's from the new Aqua Lilies collection and it's called Timeless. And this is one of their 12 hour lipsticks. I did post an Instagram picture about it and you guys really liked it. And in my swatch, it's in its glory. It's in its bright, bright orange glory. But usually I don't wear it quite that bright. I like to kind of pat it all over my lips and put a gloss over the top of it because it is pretty dang orange. But it's really pretty. That's what it looks like. And I know I said this was a bright um, spring video, but I do have a few lighter pinks in there too that are like still bams on my lips um, and one nude just because I thought not everyone wants a bright lip. So anyways, that's the swatch of the Tarte. Next, I have this Leo Ellie lipstick. Now, you can only find this online, but I really, really love this. Um, this is one of those lipstick that, lipsticks that adjust to your pH level or your, um, it just adjusts to your lips. So your heat, the, the way your body reacts to it, creates the pink color. So this one is number three. And I'm going to insert a little um, information clip right now to give you more information on it because I know I'm not giving it complete justice. I know that there are also other different colors like a vibrant red and a, like a fuchsia pink because this is like the lighter end of a pink. However, it comes off as a bright pink on my lips. Um, so I really suggest you guys check it out because it's the coolest lipstick I've ever come across. Um, look at the packaging, how beautiful. It kind of has a gradient purple to pink and then it's like a metallic pink bullet. And then look at this. Is that, that looks so scary, right? It looks green, folks. But when you put it on your lips, it turns to your color pink. So let's see if it will really show you the true pink that it comes off on my lips with on my hands. Pretty much. So it comes off like this really pretty bright pink, but a very, very wearable pink. Look, you can see it kind of turning even as um, time goes on. So... You might see it getting a little bit deeper as I show the swatches, but I really like how this feels on the lips. It's very moisturizing. I know it's infused with different oils, and it smells like lemons. So I definitely suggest you check it out. I'll leave the link below. And I say it's high-end because Leo Welle to me is a high-end brand. Um, and the last high-end lipstick I want to show you for spring is a nude. Um, they do have brights in this line, so I would say check it out. Um, these are the Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. 
I'm obsessed with them. The formulation, the formulation is extremely creamy, and this is the color Nude Beach. And I just think that says spring, summer, also a beach. Heck yes, I want to go to the beach right now. Um, it is like a nudie pink. So this is going to be like, I'm going to put it on my other hands because this doesn't really go along with the bright trends, but I still really love it and wear it pretty often enough to show you guys. So that's what it looks like right there. Disregard that if you don't want brights. I'm going to show you one more that's not super bright, but to me it still is in my bright category because when I wear it, it's a bam pink. It's like, hello, I'm wearing pink lips right now. Like it's Barbie pink. And it's actually like $1.99 at the drugstore, and it's a wet and wild lipstick. And the number is completely off of this, but I'm going to just insert it right here so you guys can know. But it's this one here. I have spoken about it before in the past. And look at that. It's just like a really fun Barbie pink. And can you see that is definitely getting darker, the Leo Welly color. It's so pretty. Anyways, that is the Wet n Wild right there. It is like a matte look to your face to your lip to your face, really, Melissa. It's a matte consistency on the lips, so over time I do have to reapply a little bit more. It can dry out my lips a little bit, but I don't care because I really love it. Next is a Maybelline Whisper, and this is an Oola Lilac. I have spoken about this in my favorite videos before. It's a really pretty lavender, and on my lips, to me it's a bright, but it's like a soft, more, um, less opaque, you know, it's like a sheer bright, um, and it's really pretty. So in the tube it looks hella bright, look at that, it looks like a lilac bright is so pretty and lilac is so in right now in the makeup world so totally get on that bandwagon because you know I did okay so that is it right there and as you can see it's a little bit less pigmented but just as gorgeous and then the next three are from the Maybelline line the Vivid line I cannot get enough of the Vivid line and I know a lot of YouTube gurus talk about it but, I mean, I've been loving them for months now. Would you guys agree with this? I think you would. So first I'm going to start off, I'm so weird from that. First I'm going to start off with Pink Pop, which none of these are in the limited edition Vivid's line, so you can definitely grab these. All the drugstore ones I mentioned are not limited edition. Um, Pink Pop is really gorgeous. I feel like this is the more opaque version of Oola Lilac almost, but a little bit more pink. I'll put it right next to it. So that's Pink Pop, that's Oola Lilac. Do you see how it could sort of come off like the more opaque version of that? Really love this. I wear probably this one the most as well as the next one which is Hot Plum. And this is the one that I think is a pretty good dupe for the Daddy's Little Girl from the Archie's collection. So if you weren't able to get your hands on this, go get your hands on Hot Plum. It's like half the price and it's gorgeous as well. So. Looks like that. And that's what it looks like. So Daddy's Little Girl is right here. So it's a little bit deeper, but whatever. It's still so gorgeous. I love it. And last but not least is Wild Rose. So if I want a little bit more red, reddish pink in my life, I go for this one. Looks like this. And these really feel amazing on the lips. I can't get enough of them. I wear them so much, even to Sephora. By the way, I am wearing my Sephora uniform right now. Sorry, the lighting's going down. I didn't want to change. So that's what it looks like right there. All right, guys, so those, well, and these, this nude. <laughs> these are my favorite spring, summer lipsticks currently. The ones I can't get enough of. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any suggestions for a fun, bright lip, let me know. Drugstore or high-end, whatever you prefer. And, side note, the next video you see me in, I will not be blonde anymore. I'm kind of like an ombre right now. I will not be blonde anymore. I'm going brunette tomorrow. And I am naturally brunette. Like, this is my natural hair color up top here. So I'm just going to pretty much bring that all the way down. So you'll see me next time as a brunette. Okay, bye guys. Have a wonderful week.